Good day everybody, my name is Anton Crano and I do the technical and uh, support on e-filing and easy file. Um, I'm going to go through two sections today. The first one I'm going to present on the new e-filing guide and I'm going to give you some tips and hints and everything and so forth on the new how the new e-filing works and then the second section will be on easy file. Um, that'll be a shorter section but that's just some hints and tips to make it a little bit easier for you to navigate it for the new for the upcoming uh, by biannual uh, s submission that is coming up um, in August uh, August September for your mid-year submission of your IRP5 certificates. Okay, to give you a bit of a background, I've been involved with e-filing since April 2002, and when Easy File came along, was involved with that as well. And I've been contracted to site to assist you with your technical support um, for the almost last five years. So, let, without further ado, let's get on with it. I'm going to just go through the agenda quickly. First of all, I'm going to go through the landing page on e-filing, username and password, the home page, the magical three dots. I say magical three dots because I promise you when I found this, it changed my life. And I finally made it made some sense to me as to what on earth is going on in this e for new e-filing site. Um, then I'm going to show you the user list. Um, you might ask me why I'm going to show you user list because you'll see that's where you'll see all the users that's on your system. And then I'm going to go through registering a new user. This is important, as with you all know by now, everybody must have their own username and login who uses e-filing. Right, managing your user profile, registering a new organization, returns, and my beloved Adobe Flash Player, which I'm sure by now, if, if you could see me, you'd probably start throwing things at me, and um, because Adobe has caused so much hassles. And then, of course, I'm going to show you, go through some known issues and a few questions. Right, the landing page. As you can see, this is the landing page. Very simple, straightforward. All you need to do here is click on Login, where it says Login. And this is the standard e-filing web page, just just the landing page, just neatened up a little bit and tied it up and made it more pretty. And um, on this, this is where you'll be able to download Easy File for Employer as well. Now, um, Easy File for Employer, and on this web page, you will find Easy File for Employer. And why is this important? This is important because this will be uh, this is where you find where you download Easy File, and I'll be get more into it as to why you need to load the Easy File software from here rather than rather than use it um, use the update function when when prompted when Easy File um, prompts you to to update. Okay, right. Next, username and password. This is where you'll insert the username. I'm sure you all know by now, and you've all gone through the pain of your username and password changes, etc., etc. And I'm not gonna get into that too much because it's a little bit difficult to explain via this, but we will be, we will, I'll be, we'll be taking emails if you have any hassles with your, with your uh, username and password section. All right, you'll insert your username here and you'll click on next. And this is where you'll insert your password and click on login. Now, your homepage. As you can see, this gives you a little bit of overview of all your taxpayers and everything on the system. I think it's a little bit superfluous, a little bit too much information, but um, I can see where they want to go with it. It's so that they can give you a little bit of an overview of what's happening on your profile and what's happened in the last couple of days in your profile, etc. All right, the most important part of this homepage is, as you can see here, this is the portfolio name that you logged into. If you can see there's a little triangle, you'll click on that triangle and that triangle will give you a drop down of all the portfolios that you have access to. And more about portfolios just a little later. And next to that is taxpayer. There's a little triangle that you click down and that gives you if you have if it's more than if you have less than 50 taxpayers on your profile, that gives you a drop box with all your taxpayers in that. If you have more than 50, it'll give you the first client that you log into, which is normally your own practice. And there will be a show all button that you can click on to show all the returns or 
um, or, or all the taxes that is attached to your portfolio. Okay. The magical three dots. Yes, this is what changed my life the moment because I must admit I did not like the navigation to start off with, as I'm sure all of you did not like the navigation either to start off with. But when I found the magical three dots, it really changed my life. Which pretty much brings me to um, one of my own rules that I broke. And Anton's got two golden rules. Um, I say Anton because probably nobody else would have this rule. But Anton's first rule about navigating e-filing. It very simply states, in order for you to navigate the site successfully from today onwards, all you need to do is apply the simple technique of RTFS. Now you're all wondering what the heck that is. It very simply says, read the screen. Okay, moving swiftly along before you ask me what the F stands for, which is flippin', um, read, read, read the flippin' screen. Okay, but now, Anton's second golden rule, which is even better than the first one, is when in doubt, click the heck out of absolutely everything and see what it does. You can't break it. Well, apparently you can't break it. I have, but let's move on. Let's, you probably won't be able to break it. Okay. And this is the three dots. As you can click on the three dots, it gives you... Um, the drop down. The most important one is there is search taxpayer. Now, when you click on search taxpayer, this is where you can where it gives you a drop, where it gives you a, a, a search box where you can search via the name of the person, the registration, or the actual tax number of your taxpayer. All right. User list. Now, ladies and gentlemen, with the new login procedures with e-filing where you needed to choose a primary. This has caused many, many issues. Um, a lot of you have found when you log in, um, you you have been you were forced to choose a primary. Now, the primary that was supposed to have been chosen was supposed to be the actual, your actual practice that you work for. And the more will be revealed later on as to why I said that. Um, because it's going to cause you, if you chose your personal tax as the primary, it's going to cause you a few issues later on when you try and submit your easy file submissions. Because your primary might not necessarily be a user that is linked to a group where your easy file um, submissions are to be done for. Um, but I have found a solution for that. It isn't very elegant. Um, if, if we can't change your primary back to back to resemble the, the login that um, that you used to log into EasyFile with. Um, but I've, I've come across a way that we will try and resolve that issue for you. Right. As you can see, you've got the same navigation as per the old site is still there. Your user, organization, returns, duties and levies, services, all the usual as it per was per is still there. It's nothing, nothing really profoundly brand new. And you also still have on the left hand side your subdirectory. Now you'll click on user and this will give you a drop down box of all the users that are on your system. And this is where you can change their passwords, you can delete users, etc. All right. Now, I mentioned that every person should have their own login name and password. The sharing of login name and passwords are now obviously if you if you have a login name and password that you made a primary and it has your personal tax on it as well as your organization tax which you normally access via this. That will be all fine and well if you shared it and you shared your organizational tax but it never previously contained access to your personal tax. Now your personal tax is attached to this. You don't want everybody to see your personal tax. Because obviously the first one who cho who logged in with it made that it made whatever their primary um, and they would you, everybody who will, who will have that would have access to whatever that primary per who chose who logged in first with that login and password that person will then have gained, given access to everybody else who used it to their own personal tax. So this is where the dangers come in of sharing login names and passwords, etc. 